Down we have a toxic drop-off and uh, maybe Calvin will give you a shot later of my warehouse. And that's another that's a whole nother video right there. All right well, well let's consider that a preview then. All right so at, at least at this point this part is done right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Let's um, let's just give them a quick tour of the place. Oh, jeez. All right. So this is the garage. Okay. So here we have the press, which I bought from my neighbor for a hundred dollars to keep in over here, Cal, for the Sunbeam Tiger that has been on jack stands for seventeen years. Uh, Every part on that car requires at least a 20-ton press to get it off. Down below, we have the Harbor Freight um, drain cleaner, which I believe I paid all of $45 for that $250 item. Um, down here, we've got the uh, skill saw that I uh, paid $10 for. It's a jackhammer saw. Um, oh my gosh, we just have so much stuff. I buy thousands. Yard sale, selling tools, uh, a cat power shear. I think this thing, you know, is about $300. I think I paid five bucks for it. Um, where else do we have things here? Um, all kinds of angle grinders and whatnot. Pay next to nothing, five, ten dollars for it. Uh, this is a memorable piece because when Calvin was about maybe two, three years old, I bought this Harbor Freight grinder. Can't complain, still working. Some people got to die to help me out. This was from my stepfather. He uh, passed away and my mom passed it on to me and um, we have used it uh, exclusively. For like every single science fair project ever right. done. So uh, in the previously mentioned uh, aspect of the lathe, and I told you the Calvin had found it for $100 when I was back in the same area, this uh, 20 gallon, excuse me, 60 gallon compressor, uh, twin cylinder compressor was uh, $80 uh, refurbished. I don't know what was wrong with it, but uh, I haven't had any issues with it. Should we explain the blue and red thing hiding back there? Oh yeah, that could be another yet another show. Yeah, that's, that's a whole other show. It's that's just, Calvin's, it's uh, I don't know, what was that, 6th, 7th grade uh, hovercraft? Probably six, seven, huh? I thought it was eight because I couldn't go to state. No, you went to state in eighth. Uh, seventh then. That was seventh, eighth, but actually seventh and sixth grade because you built it in the sixth grade and then you did other tests on it. Yeah, well, it, it got it got used for the seventh grade science fair. How about that? Yeah, well, it got used in the sixth in the sixth grade science fair. I think you got second place. I think in the seventh grade you got no place. Oh, whatever. Every did the same thing. And then there's more. This is like a preview of everything in the... Yeah, it's a preview of everything in the toxic... Uh, okay, realm. Let's go oh, pan over here, give him a shot of our helmets. Uh, there's, uh, I don't think I paid any more than about uh, five bucks for any one of them. And Sunny Boy has the fourth one. All right. Um, yeah, we'll just bypass the shop. That's a whole other thing in itself. Here we got the Wells saw. I was at a swap meet and I said to the guy, what do you want for the saw? And I thought he said $50 and I said, how about 40? He thought I said 20 and said, how about 30? Well, you can just bet I broke the sound barrier getting my wallet out of my uh, pants pocket. And, and, and he's a cheap guy, so for him to break the sound barrier getting his wallet out is, is miraculous. Absolutely. So anyway, so there's my $30 well. So we've just been using it to do some plumbing stuff on the tiny house, which you, if you follow Calvin, is also saying, you know, tire changer yet to get bolted down. I, I cannot find this thing anywhere on the internet. I bought it for $60. I thought it was an older one, but it just looks too good to look old, although it's probably an old design. Um, anybody has any information, please let us know. All right, further on we go. And by the way, this is just like a preview tour. We're going to have a whole bigger episode. Yeah, Here we got your 63 Rambler, your 73 Plymouth Valiant with some hop-up parts, even though it looks plainly stock. All right, so here we are at the, oh, wait, back there, there's the free cement mixer. All right, 
there's my bike that Calvin stole to go to college his first year. Um, but this is the warehouse. Go ahead, step on in there, Sonny Boy. Let him see just a preview of everything that we have. And you can believe that I probably turned down a lot of stuff. I got so much um, intermixed with all this. Oh, show them. This, this is part of the preview. Uh, we'll probably put this in, in the uh, free tools show where I get about $1,000 worth of free tools off of Craigslist just because I was the first one there. Um, little tile saw we used on the tiny house. That was $10. And, uh, oh, look, somewhere buried in there is the mini bike that i crashed as a kid and you really yeah you and your sister crashed as a kid okay so john do you still have like the the frank and rototiller yes i, I, I was i was going to go there just go ahead and spin around though because let them see the our, our tire warehouse um you're a mini tire act.com in the making and then uh, this little contraption right here this is actually upside down but this mounts in a four by four window and it allows me to have a fan that's external so i know i'm bringing in cool air and this hole down here is where the air conditioner sits we don't need it year round here but in our undisclosed area of the country we are uh, in need of cooling periodically all right, so here is the Frank and Rototiller. Uh, this was powered by gas. I uh, could cancel a gym membership trying to get the engine started. So uh, that wasn't going to happen. So one day I just got fed up and we had this. Oh, that's a one horsepower motor that came off of that really old compressor that I had. And uh, I just welded up this little angle iron frame. And then I bolted the motor to it, and then I think what I did, oh yeah, there's a pulley down there, so I think I just welded the pulley to the motor shaft. And uh, nice little power switch here. In fact, we've got power right here. Let's show them how it works. Well, this is going to be a 20-minute video by the time. No, that's okay. It's done. a 20-minute preview. The people will come back for more. Oh gosh, we're going to have, have an hour-long documentary of the crazy creations of Tom Witt. Uh, ready? There you go, folks. Remember, you saw it here first. All right. He's terrifying. He moves gay. Oh, there's my, everything has a story here. There's my $90 riding lawnmower that when I bought it, I think it was 21 years old. And uh, we have a picture of Calvin sitting on it. You might want to throw that in. Uh, you when find he, the photo, I'll put it in. When, when he's seven months old, uh, when I bought it, which means that it's probably, I've had it over 25 years. Um, Almost 50 years old. Short story was I called the lady up uh, this predates Craigslist and everything's from something called a recycler. And the lady said, my husband's not here, you can't come. So I said to my wife, call her back, tell her you'll be coming. She called her back, the lady says, okay, we get there. I gave the lady the $90 for it. The only thing is, is it didn't start because electric start is that a little gear for the starter had um, been broken. I went to the lawnmower shop, $3.00. Um, I don't think I've put any money into it. Uh, show them the wheels, though. It used to have just solid wheels on there. And that, of course, is your Harbor Freight uh, wheels for a hand truck. And I think I bought, like, I don't know, 10 of them for $2 a piece at Harbor Freight a while ago. Oh, what's the pressure washer firefighting rig in the back? Oh, yeah. I got and show them that. It's, it's one more of our things. So... We had an issue with termites here, and I needed to get some termicide under the concrete slab floor. So I used the previously mentioned $10 skill roto hammer and drilled holes in the floor. And then I hooked the pressure washer up with a um, drywall mud bucket, a hopper, and I mix up in five gallon batches. And then I just made my own. Um, Wand. It was the uh, thing you buy at Harbor Freight to blow air off a you know, workbench to get dust and stuff off. And I just put a brass tube on the end. And at the end of the tube, I had a solid brass piece and I had a hole coming out 90 degrees to the direction. So I could stick it in the floor, pull the trigger, spin it around. Notice how I'm getting wrapped up in the mic cable. Yeah, spin the other way. 
and uh, it would inject this stuff underneath the slab. It worked great because I had holes about every foot and I knew that I was covering myself when it would bubble up out of the next hole. So, um, I don't know if we got anything interesting here. It's kind of a mess. We can edit that out. Yeah, it's just kind of a mess right now and, and nothing really exclusive either other than storage parts for uh, the cars and stuff. Oh, look, you see the uh, little air fresh sensor when you bought your car, which is how long have you had that car now? Like um, seven. almost seven, eight years. I got it when I was, I think, because I think I got my license when I was about 20. So I'm 25 now. So I've had the car about five years. He's wrong. He's had the car about seven years. He got his license when he just turned 19. Never All right. Mind. Um, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, so we pay the guy, we get in the car, the windows were open in the car, and we're about being asphyxiated because that thing smelled so intense. I put it in the shed here, you know, it's kind of cover the smell of all the insecticides and everything, and I think three years later you could still smell that thing. So, um, anyway. Uh, anything else we want to show them now, or was it kind of that we're kind we're at, of... We're at 13 minutes right now. We beat this horse to death. All right, so this is just a little preview of things to come.